it's 5 a.m. and I've decided I'm going to do my hair. Can you join? Hi, I'm JL. So my family is moving back to the East Coast, and despite not being able to change the oil in a car, pay my taxes, or find emotional stability, doing my hair was my biggest worry when my mom leaves. So this is just a little setup before I did my hair. You know, we like to be chill and have the vibes all going in the shower. Here's a dope projector that I got from Amazon. Yes, yes, get it girl. This is like she's in a coming of age film. Oh, to see without my eyes. First time that you kiss me. Yes, towel comes off. Okay, guys, look at my curls though. So fire. My hair may be damaged, but the curls still do be popping though. <laughs> so that was just the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. <sighs> And, you know, we got to get a um, dime-sized amount. And by dime, I mean dollop because our curly hair, you know, curly hair grows. We got to gotta use a little more product. So here I'm just combing through it to flatten it. Just combing it all the way back, detangling. Yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> just, uh, yikes. Mind your business, mind your business, mind your business. And here I'm just using a do-rag to flatten it down further. Just to like stretch it out a little bit and this is what I do when I have a hairstyle that I want to do but like my hair is still wet because I'm not trying to use heat all the time you feel me so these are just the perm rods that I wrap the hair around and I boil them in water and then dry them yes sir it's time to take it off um yeah ignore that hairline I don't know why she built like that um yeah so I'm gonna part it and um, um, try to try to make it as, as straight as possible clearly I can't um, do that under my circumstances so we sectioned it and got it somewhat straight as well <laughs> so I used the argan oil eco styler gel and the 360 style wave pomade back when I was a waver boy <laughs> Wave check, you heard? Yeah, so anyways, gripping the hair is like so hard for me, so I'm making like a bunch of wild faces. Yeah. But I got it though. Look, so proud. And I just used a rubber band to uh, knot it off in the back, but tie it. So I'm going to show you the back of it, but please don't laugh at me. I couldn't see. Very ugly, no kiss for him! <laughs> okay, it was all going fine, but then I started braiding the one braid into the other braid that I wasn't supposed to be braiding while I was braiding it into a braid, and it just pissed me off. But you know, we ain't got no quarters here. So, you know, try, try, and try, and, and try, and try, try again, and, and then you, you try some more, and then you, you just keep going and, and, and until it works out. I know it looks rough, but mind your business. So here I'm just putting on the do-rag again to further flatten it while I go and unravel these little perm rod boys. I love doing it this, like it's low-key my favorite part of the whole thing. It's so fuego! So boingy! Oh, I, I think it has something to say. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, sir. Thank you, Curly Boy, for that announcement. Okay, here is the tricky part. Not really tricky. Low key, it's easy. So you just slide the crochet rod through. And then I slide through one side of the crochet boy. And um, I only knotted over the one side. And then I take some of the strands and 
and I, I tie them together just to further secure it. But it's like the invisible method, question mark. Yeah, and I, I tie that a little bit. I tie it like twice. And the other method is just to loop it over. So I'll do that again, slide the rod through. The needle, it's called a needle. <laughs> slide the needle through, pull the hair over the whole thing, both sides. And then I just like do a little loopy boy like that. And that's low key faster and easier, but the other way just, um, it's kind of like invisible. So it looks like the hair is on both sides and not just a loop. So yeah, I just did that a bunch of freaking times. This whole thing took me um, seven hours and I did it all at once. Like I was literally standing in my bathroom for seven hours and I, I didn't know that it was 11.30 a.m. when I went out. Cause I remember too, this was just like a crazy spur of the moment 5 a.m. thing. Yes, sir, oh, she looking good. So I just shape it, um, mind your business, those are school scissors. Um, yeah, so I just shape it and cut it how I want it. And I wanted like this curly mullet. So to make this look even sicker, I used Mojang's um, purple hair wax. It's a temporary hair color and literally it works so well. I used it all the time in college. Wow, it's weird, I can say that now. But uh, yeah, and I like to do my baby hairs. Just take some of that Eco Styler gel. So I haven't really talked about who I am, what I like or anything, but um, I'm 21, 20, turning 22 in October. And I graduated from UCI recently. Um, I have an inflammatory disease um, called lupus. And so, I might talk about that a little more on this channel, just like how I maneuver that. Oh, I'm originally from the East Coast, so I was born in Salisbury, Maryland, and also grew up in Bronx, Brooklyn, Harlem for a little bit. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking good. The lighting. So thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video. It was a little introduction, a little craziness into who I am, what I'm about, what I do. Um, I actually don't know what other kinds of content will be coming up onto this channel. So stay tuned, you're in for a wild ride. I'll be posting once a week. So if you like this video, definitely like it and comment. And then if you wanna watch more and stay tuned, please subscribe. All right. Bye. Thanks again.